So I've been having some game volumes loud. Okay, sorry guys. Let me turn that down for you. How how's that? Better? Car racers are not my thing. Sonic and All-Star Team Racing? I've never played that one. I, I'm pretty sure the only kart racers I've played. Okay, so, um, the thing that's, like, so the thing that I've been struggling with this game has been that, um, the disc has had some trouble loading. Uh, not sure gay volume is loud. Gay volume should always be loud. I've been having some troubles with the loading screen, um, so for that reason, I've had to like turn off the game. So I have to save frequently, or else we lose progress. So I'm not like sure why that's the case. I oops, wrong button. I have to remember the controls. We I want this. That's what I want. Okay. Also, I can't look at chat while I'm racing, so just as a, as a forewarning. Oh, okay, cool. I wasted that. Nice. Good Good on me. Happy to have done that. <laughs> nope, don't, don't fall. Yeah, exactly. Pass it on! My scooter boys are here. Stuff, which is good. No, 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 no. Ha, ha, ha. Hey. Get what you deserve, Cortex. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I took that wrong. Hi, Riley. Hello. Hello. Um, have you seen my hair? Yes, I know you're Gary. You, you make every, you make sure everyone knows that you are the opposite of straight. You know, you're like, there is no straight bone in my body. None at all. I just love seeing. Damn it. I mean, one of the things I really like about this game is that the missiles are not, like, that accurate. Like, you still gotta aim them a little bit, because they can get stuck on a wall. Which I, I don't really find is the case with a lot of the... Oh, damn it, I missed. I probably could have kept that on me for a while, but sadly, I did not. Wow, I'm like not aiming this at all. Come on. Oh, damn. Unforge. Sorry. I'm only in sixth place? I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Ugh. I mean, I am taking these turns kind of wide, so that could be why. That could be why I'm like still lagging a little bit. Ah! Nope, nope. Press the right button, me. There we go. Alright. It's mostly just trying to get through over the tight cur the tight curves. The tight curves and corners of this particular um Here you go. one that makes it difficult. I keep not being able to get engine with my thingy. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong way. Nope. Yeah, sixth place. It's not good. Not great. Not great. All right. Uh, finally, the Rock has returned to Boston. It's true. Oh, let me see. Well, transmiss robot. Hello, I like the robo modes. The robo modes are really cute. Hello, Garter. Hi, I got today. I never once felt like I didn't just hit something on purpose with projectile when these games. Unless it's got some homing. I'm. Um. I've I've had 
had some 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 luck with it. Not a lot, but like some. Oh hi friends, I are awakened from nap. Hello Man King, welcome on in. I do, but I do love the robo boats. They're very cute. I like them a lot too. Oh, second place. All right. But I'm losing it already. Nice. Good for me. Oh no! The spider friends have betrayed me. Why? I mean, look. If there's another thing that I really like about um, these games, it's that like the NPCs really keep you on your toes. Like I have never once felt super confident in my lead like whenever I am whenever I'm like doing anything um I'm not doing anything but when I whenever I'm like doing one of the races I always feel like um I always feel like I might lose it so I think that's like nice I like that aspect of it I have to use this like, like sharp turn thing a lot more. Uh, finally, I got engines like. Oops. Time distorter, whatever the fuck. Okay, I think doing- I'm think you, not using the, the slides on the turns is probably what's gonna help me here. Well, maybe like in here it's alright, but like here... That turn's so tight. It's a tight one! <sighs> I'm really sorry I can't look at chat. I just, I gotta focus, you know, on this game. Oh, no! Oh, I just blew that up. I just wasted that. Cool, good for me. Good, good shit. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Damn it. That, that one goddamn... See what I mean when I say that you can lose your lead at any time? Like, you really gotta keep yourself on your toes in this game in order to, like, do well. But what's also nice is that, like, there are many times where, like, the NPCs get so far behind you. Like, you get so far behind the NPCs that, like, you can't win even if you do really badly. So, it just really depends. <sighs> Come on, uh, this is only a one place improvement. Damn, they really like increase in difficulty in this stage. The, re the remotes, if you will. Hey Ash, how's Riley? I is good, how about you? I am a tight one. <sighs> Amazing. Uh, finally feeling rested for the first time in like a week because I took a big warm nap. Nice! Love that. Very nice. How are you? Are you now? Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh my god. Huzzah. Indeed. The remotes. Hi, Elmeo. And then Hell Sneeze. The good job, though, Dove. Improvement is good even if it's only a little. No, that's true. Like, we're gonna get there. I'm pretty. I'm like decently confident in my skills in this game. I, I don't think I could win like a contest to win first place against like a pro or whatever, but you know, like. Playing this game, this being the main car racer I played as a kid really does help. All right, cool. Thanks, I'll take the help, it's fine. Oh, 
Oh. No. No. But again, like, even though I'm seven place now, like, all the NPCs are, like, still, like, in, um, they're still pretty, like, clustered together, so as long as I, you know, drive well, we should be okay. We hope. If we get lucky with our, uh, if we get lucky, then, then we definitely will. Sorry, I'm just gonna focus on trying to win! Fourth place isn't bad. Ah, uh, could be better, but, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh my god! First place is so far ahead. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Polar, get out of my fucking way! Ugh. Ooh, whoever put that nitro. What a sadist. Good lord. Come on, Polar, stop. Okay, ooh. Uh, what the fuck's going on with uh, that guy? What happened there? Oh, I almost fell off, but I saved myself. Nice. All right, Crash, it's just you and me. And Polar, too, but like, mostly just you and me. Come on, Polar, be a bro and help me take out my bro. It's a simple request. You should be able to handle it. Oh. Uh. No! Dingle that, I'll get the fuck out of my way. Get the fuck out of my way. Wait. Oh, I gotta cut corners. Hold on. Oh, I want, I want, I want the trophy. These races are gonna be hard, so like, I want to win. I want to win. Eww. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 yes. Aqua came in for me! Yeah! Nice! Okay, um... Let's see, how is Dub today? Dub is doing well! Um, I am <clears throat> having a good time. Uh, I had a pretty relaxing day at work. Um, I'm recovering still. I fully recovered from the potato disaster of 2022. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling with a nice, with a game I like, so. We evolve beyond the person we were a minute before. Little by little, we advance a little further with each turn. That's how a drill works. Who are you quoting there, Gardrek? It's a good quote, but. Oh shit, race time. Hi, game gang. Ga game gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh shit, great. So that reminds me of NC4 Bowser Dungeon. Yeah, it does have that vibe, doesn't it? I'm not trying to make a skill. Are you sure you have that? I do say. I think I'm like pretty, I'm like above average at this game. I played it enough as a kid to be passingly familiar with it. And that counts for a lot. Whatever happened with Inictifal? I feel like I haven't seen the round now. You know, I have no idea. Uh, he's been kind of not present in chat for a really long time. Or on my Discord. Or on the Coop Discord, either. I really haven't seen seen him around either. And he typically shows up to most of my streams, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, has anyone seen him? Any word on what he's up to? Okay, the only problem with this map is- look at this map. This map is difficult to read because there are multiple levels. Oh, actually, I should save. I have to be annoying and save because of the issues we've been having with, with this, um, computer. With the, not the computer. The, um, the disc. Back up real quick, and I'll continue reading. Victory is still within reach! Mm-hmm. Oh shit, it is like Bowser Castle, isn't it? Yes. Write something about this layout. It is, I think, well, I know, uh, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I was gonna DM them in Discord. I feel like if they were on Discord, they would have been around Dub server. That's true. They, yeah. I don't really have any other way to contact them, so I don't, I don't know what they're up to. How, how I would go about contacting them. I hope they're okay. Yeah, me too. 
I do hope they're okay. I know they struggled a lot, they've been struggling a lot, so... I just hope that he's AFK for, you know, a, a wholesome, hell happy, healthy reasons. Let's hope. I wish all the gays are very okay on this day. Thank you! I appreciate that. And I'm sure everyone else in chat appreciates it too. Thank you, thank you too. Yo, Pog, thank you! Thank you for the Pogs, thank you for the good jobs, thank you for the emotes, really appreciate it. That quote is from Gurren Lagon, a pretty good super robot anime. I sent them a DM in case they got they get them. Yeah, I should probably send them a DM too. I've been meaning to, but I, I just don't. Like, I, I was thinking about it a while back. I was like, yeah, I really haven't seen a new file in a while. And he shows up to like most of my streams, so. I don't know what's up. All right, let's go finish up stuff at the labs. I've been trying to eat DM more of the folks that I've met through Twitch a little bit more consistently. I feel like I want to maintain more of my my online friendships in a way that I think is better than just chatting with them via Twitch. So that's my goal for this year. That's my New Year's revolution revolution resolution slash my uh, um, the thing I am doing for the Lenten season is. Uh, slash whatever other holiday or observance I can think of is just DMing people more and like being more friendly and all that fun stuff. Not that I'm not friendly with people, it's just I've realized now that as I get older being friends with people is like main is a lot of work and like you need to like maintain a friendship rather than just assuming people are gonna be your friends or stuff like that. I mean not that, like, if someone, like, um, if someone were to, like, talk to me after not, after me not, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I'm too focused, I'm trying to win, so I can get first place again. Um, uh, what was I saying? I've been realizing now that in my, in my older age, uh, friendships are a lot harder to maintain. So I, ha! So I, uh, I really wanna, um, do b better in terms of that and really try to maintain some of the friendships that I've made here. I also need to, like, make friends, you know, IRL too, <laughs> which is also hard because I need to find places where people hang out. Um, I've been thinking, there is a, a TTRPG store that just came to my area, like, it's literally, like, I could walk there from my house, it's that close. So, um, you know, I was thinking we could, I could maybe hang out there, potentially, and, like, see what's up. I don't really play a lot of card games, unfortunately, but I do play, um, TTRPG, like, you know, Dungeons Dragons type of stuff. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can see what's up. Someone's running a one shot, you know? That might be a good time. Alright. Ha! Get lost, Crash. You might be- this franchise might be named after you, but I'm the smarter one, so ha! Okay. Uh, stuff for chat to, to, com to, to contemplate. Wow. When I get back and I'm able to- oh, I might have lost- that, that might have- that crash might have lost me the first place- fuck! Damn it, come on. Well, maybe not. I might have some chance, time to, to get first. Maybe, 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 maybe. I hope. I think I will. No! Ugh! Ugh. No! Third place isn't bad though, I'll take third place. And I didn't even ask my question, but l l let me uh, catch up on chat. Uh, I sent them a new DM to see his- I'd love a New Year's revolution! <laughs> Wouldn't we all oh well? I mean, we do not know the sound for that, yes. By revolution, I of course mean Dance Dance Revolution, the popular party game. That should have a New Year's theme. There you go. Imagine meeting people. <laughs> Imagine, right? Imagine doing that. I mean, it depends on what, where your life is for you. Ooh, walking is good. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't live in the middle of nowhere. 
but it's certainly a little less um, connected than where I used to live, so it's a bit more challenging. Like looking at their face. Ooh, sounds like a destination. Yeah, near nerd. <laughs> Look, I my icon is of a P dub. Okay, like if you're gonna be in this chat, you're gonna have to deal with some nerdiness. Like that's just that's just part of the entrance exam. It's just part of the content. It's just just it's just how it has to be. I don't get out much of a way. Let me finish the thing. And me too. I'm hoping to actually go out to Ohio where one of my friends, one of my longest friends is living and I want to hang out with her because I don't get to see her at all in person. So now that I have actual like vacation time, I can do that. I wish there was anything worth a damn where the more of here. Oh, I'm sorry, Gardner. What, well, what sucks is that I've met a lot of people through Twitch. It's just that y'all live all over the place. <laughs> Some of you live in other countries. You know, so it's like hard to, even if COVID wasn't a thing, like it's hard to try and meet everybody. Holy shit, that missile got so close. Uh, everything I need in friends, I can only find a far distance and that makes me kind of sad. Oh, I have no friends IRL. No, that's so sad. I'm sorry. Like I said, if I lived, if, if we all lived in the same place, bro. I, I say bro, but I mean people. I need to get better at my non at my uh, gender neutral language. Um, if I if I was nearby everybody, if everybody that I knew on Twitch was like lived in the same town, I would be hanging out with you guys all the time. Let's just put it that way. Or at least like, you know, whenever I'm not busy. <laughs> but like I hang out with you guys all the time anyway, technically speaking. So, uh, you know, I guess it would just be the same. But like. Oh, fuck, no! Oh, you can see the stage through the- <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by, uh, clipping. Oh, boop, 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 Someone with the with the uh, uh, bowling ball bomb. That's nice. Go. Good, good for me. I'm happy about that. Okay, so what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, here's the thing for you guys to talk about in chat while I'm racing. Is Crash a himbo? Discuss. I, I, I wait in eager, I, I, I wait in breathless anticipation for your responses. And if not Crash, any other characters within the Crash Bandicoot franchise that are potentially hippos? Follow up question. <laughs> do I feel, do I feel like, do I feel like setting fire to chat? Do I want to be controversial? Not controversial. Do I want to 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 really be spicy? Yeah. Oh, we'll hold on to that question for next race, I think. Sometimes I think about this and I, you know, I, you know, I realize, I wonder if like Cortex's whole deal is that his whole villainy is just a really weird midlife crisis. Like, like he has a fan, like he has, does he have a daughter? Yeah, I think Nina's his daughter, right? 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 I don't remember if, she, if she's her daughter or if, it, or, if, or if she's his daughter or if it's like, you know, one of those like, Donald Duck situations where it's like his niece or his, you know, his niece or like cousin or something. It's not actually his offspring. Oh shit! 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 Oh! 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 
Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Yes! Got it! Again! Nice! Good! Alright. Um... <clears throat> I have one IRL for an LL. I do be living in a country. Most of us are, probably are, I would imagine. I want to be part of the lesbi... Les BDSM Clouter? What's that? Headshot! Yeah, I got him. Is the Aqua Aqua mask uh, masking you faster? It does, yes. It makes you invincible and slightly faster. So that mask is really, is a really, it's like the, the star, the invisibility star from Mario Kart. It basically functions the exact same way. Yeah, yes. Yes, end of story. Okay, we've got, well, I've got one vote for yes. Is Crash nice? I haven't played enough. Crash is nice. He's kind of just stupid. <laughs> he's not like, I think he's pretty well-meaning. He's not like evil or anything. He's nice. He's a nice guy, I'd say. Um, Crash is a video game character. He is! But also, you know, we gotta know who the him who Himbo is. Like, um, freaking Kronk from Members of Groove is like ultimate Himbo energy, but like he's a cartoon character. No, ask the question, Dove! We'll get there. A Himbo must be kind, beefy, and stupid. This is the Himbo tripod. I guess Crash isn't particularly beefy. He's just kind of weedy, I suppose. You know, he's got those he's got those thick shoulder to that thick shoulder neck situation though. Technically he's the hero of the game, so yes. Crash doesn't really have much of a personality. He's like Mario, I guess, and that Mario also doesn't have a personality, but Mario, I feel like Mario I can imagine like exist like he feels more like intelligent than Crash. Like, Crash just feels like he just exists. I don't know. Weird. I, I, you know, sometimes I gotta ask weird questions. It happens. But is he the hero by intention or by accident? That's a good question. I think intention. I mean, the first game he was rescuing his girlfriend, and then in the second one, well, in the second one he kind of gets, like, roped into everything. He, like, his Coco is like, hey, can you get batteries for my laptop? And he's like, sure. And then, he, well, he doesn't say anything, but he goes and gets them and then gets beamed away and forced to do things against his will. And then the third game, uh, I think Aku Aku summons him and then he just does it. So, um, yeah, it's really hard to say. And he's a blank slate character in most games, so it's hard to say whether he's nice or not since how he acts depending on the player. It does, yeah. There's not many games, and like most Crash games don't really have much of a story. So, uh, he's, and he's like goofy, you know? So it's like kind of, some games he's portrayed as like a downright idiot. Like in tag team racing, he's basically a dumbass. <laughs> like, no thoughts head empty. Oh man, tag team racing though, what a game. We could play that on stream one day, that'd be fun. Um, so according to Dove, he's nice and he's stupid, so I suppose you just need to decide if Dove thinks he's hunky. I don't really think think Crash is that hunky. He's kind of, I don't know. I'm not a furry, so it's, Crash's attractiveness is kind of, I have just no thoughts about it, so. He's got the big torso and neck thing, yeah, but his arms are like no brutal lace, he's a weird place and doesn't be beefiness. Yeah, he's he's not. I don't imagine him as much of a weightlifter. Now Mario fucks and also exploits workers. <laughs> what a what a like two concept like thing to throw at me. You know what I mean? Like Mario fucks and also exploits workers. Like the duality of man, I guess. Ratio Mario's originally the exploited worker, but he's moved on to exploit workers himself. Sad. So, so, are, so are we saying that Mario is a class class trainer? Is that what we is that our hot take for today's stream? I see. He helps Yoshi avoid taxes. Uh, amazing. I mean, I guess he is getting that princess pussy. So. If we assume that he's doing it with Peach. Alright, let's go to Hot Air Skyway. Oh shit, I forgot to save! No! Damn it!
All right. I'm hoping I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> okay, speaking of cursed stuff and characters who fuck, do I dare click on this image? Koopa Cop. Depends on what the question you were talking about is. All right. Okay, so now... Question, next question for chat. I guess since we're, we're in the... We're discussing uh, a video game characters and like Clash Traders. Who in your mind, out of all the Nintendo characters, limited to like cartoony characters and not any character who's like ex... Well, I mean, I guess it can be explicitly this, but um... Who would you, who in your mind would you, would be the, the character with like, um, the most, um, I guess the, like, the, the most workers' rights character? Like, like, is, like, if we're talking about, we, we, we identified that Mara's a clash trader. So, like, who's, who's the most aligned with workers' rights then in video gaming? And I guess what I mean by, like, like, I know there are probably games that are about that theme explicitly. I mean, I guess you could put those those characters up, oh, put those air characters up as possibilities, but I was thinking more in terms of, like, you know, like, Nintendo characters or, like, Sony characters or, like, characters that aren't explicitly politically about workers' rights, I guess. But I'm also open to hearing about games that are about that topic as well. I'll try and come up with other questions to ask chat while I'm, uh, trying to not fall off the edge on this track. Um... Okay, and then I guess the spiciest- the, the spiciest question I have. Out of all the characters that are racing right now, who is the Delphiest? Discuss. I can't say MILF, because there's only one female character well, okay, there's two. There's Coco and Pura. Uh, I'm pretty sure Pura's a cub and also Coco is probably a minor. So, that's a bit of a fraught question. But Delph, I mean, I'm pretty sure Engine and Cortex are at least middle eight. Well, Cortex definitely is. Um, Engine is probably at the very youngest and in his, like, 20s. I don't know how old Polar is. Or crocodile or tiny, but they, they, they definitely seem like, you know, legal, I guess. <laughs> why, why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Uh, other options um, are, uh, I guess, some of the the uh, bosses in this game, which are uh, Ripper Roo, uh, Papu Papu, oof, and uh, I'm doing real bad right now. And, um,. Komodo, one of the Komodo brothers, I forget which one, I think it's Komodo Joe. Uh, and then this guy, whose stage this is, which is Pinstripe. Um. And then, I guess, Nitrous Oxide? I, I don't... I, it's, it's, I guess he's on there, too. He's technically a dude. I mean, not to say that... I guess there could be... I, I, don't, I don't know if I'd say that any of the... Female characters in this game exude, exude any kind of milf, en uh, not milf, dilf energy. So, um, I guess if we're being literal, if if I assume if Nina is his kid, uh, then I guess literally, like, Cortex could be a dilf because he has a ch he is a dad, but. I don't remember if that's actually the case or not. And I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean. Just because he's a dad doesn't mean he's a dope. Of course. Uh, anyway. Back to racing. <laughs> I'm having too much, too much weird thoughts, too many weird thoughts to be focused on actually doing well. <laughs> it seems. Fifth place, not horrible, but <clears throat> could be better. Okay. Um. Let's see. And look, Bowser, Bowser is just a proletariat, and you're not ready to know that. Cloud Stripe. Next question. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, I didn't think about Cloud, but you're, you're absolutely right. That game does have a pre- a, a, oh, I forget that there's that shortcut. I should probably use it. 
Um, oh, I don't want to. I'm going to have to pause the game uh, quickly while I read through chat. Dub, I'm not a furry. Me quietly yet. I'm going to be furry. I'm going to be converted, I guess. Much of the main cast of Final Fantasy uh, 7 are thieves and eco-terrorists and Trotskyists. No, I will not explain. That's okay. You don't need to explain. Um, I mean, that that checks out from what, from what I understand of, um, of Final Fantasy 7, although I've never played it, so I can't really. Whichever one is a literal bear, that dude fucks. <laughs> Are you referring to Tiny? I don't know what. I think Tiny's supposed to be a tiger. Yeah, his name's Tiny Tiger. He doesn't look like a tiger, but he's a tiger. The only reason I don't call myself a furry is because I don't have a persona, but I have nothing against furry art. Um, I have seen like pretty good furry art before. I mean, I don't really feel like the aesthetic I don't think the aesthetic and the furry, like, aesthetic really does it for me, but in terms of the craftsmanship of the art, like, some of the art I've seen is, like, really good. Like, like I saw this one, like, furry porn art, and, like, the lighting was incredible. Like, oh, I'm gonna miss it. Yep. Shit. I risked it all, and then I fucked up. Um. So... Furry, like, like that art artist did such a good job with, like, the, like, lighting and how the tones and the color palette work together. I was like, damn, like, I, like, I don't even know if I really see, and it was like, I guess, like, all of the, the, like, and, and the, and the subjects of the paint, and of the, like, drawing had, like, I don't know, just, like, the whole, the whole, Construction of the piece was really good. So I admired that about some furry art that I've seen. I think the craftsmanship I like sometimes, but. Um, like, I think I would have liked it just as equally if I had seen, like, the same kind of image, only it was, like, two, like, people in the same positions and the same amount of clothing, you know? So. Here you go. I actually just recently found a, uh, a webcomic artist's uh, NSFW Twitter, so that's been really interesting. <laughs> seeing, seeing them, like, and, I, and like, it's funny to me because, like, I know that, like, uh, they are a story, they're like a, they work at Disney, so it's like, well, you know, that energy has to go somewhere. <laughs> I tend to use the <clears throat> power gliding a lot a little more because there's a, it's a lot curvier in comparison to like the two other stages we were doing where there's a lot of like angles like like this I can just slide down because it's curly Q and stuff ha It's so weird because I don't think there's like a hot air balloon theme in any of the crash levels. I know there's the like, there are some levels where crash is, oh no! No, there are hot air balloons, I think. One of the, yeah, the, the fighter level in Crash B, I totally forgot about those. I, I, there's no reason why Pinstripe is associated with it though, because Pinstripe is like a mafia boss kind of vibe, so I don't know why he's, he's dealing with like that, but I guess they wanted to have like an 
like an air level, like like a Rainbow Road equivalent in their game. But that's kind of hard to do. Damn it! Fourth place again. Fuck! Dove the kind of last the, to read Playboy for the articles! <laughs> Honestly, though, probably. I like that shortcut. Strong risk reward. It is a good shortcut. Because it's right there. It's easy for you to see. It's not a secret. But it requires a lot of skill and timing to be able to, like, actually pull it off. And if you do it wrong, then you're gonna end up uh, regretting it later. So, yeah, it's a good shortcut. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that! Should have saved it. Oh well. Oh, I forgot to look at rest of the chat. Um, I technically have a persona, but I don't have a legitimate drawing of it. I should probably give the money with the walkouts recently. Uh oh, the uh, who the the the. Webcomic artist I was talking about? It's funny, I said, I have nothing against furry art, but that's really underselling it. I'm a big fan of furry porn. But like, there's just too many super dials, and not all of them are appealing to me. True guard direct. Did you look at the links I posted, Dove? No, I haven't, because I'm I'm currently looking at, um... I'm currently looking at it via my iPad. I will look at all your links in a moment. I j Ooh, I almost fell! But we did! So I have resisted fate again. Woo. Uh. way to like oh I spun out whoops yeah that, that happens if you don't like uh, press the exhaust button on there for the slides I totally forgot about that. well I for I forgot about my habit that's that was the, the thing I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. Whew. Oh no no no! Damn it! I do like that the shields um, I can use as projectiles. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Up! Oh, oh my god. I just noticed how far up ahead Polar and Pura are. That's not great. Come on, ooh, I'm oh, tiny, get off my ass! I'm close, I'm getting closer. Woo! Come on, get his butt! Yes! Oh jeez, but Pura's so far up. Damn it. And like I said, I know I said that like, in this game it's, oh! Come on, come on. Come on! 
Oh, he's already past visually. Damn it, I was so close. No. Ugh. Uh, I should probably give them money with the walkouts recently. I think they're uh, a storyboarder specifically. Uh, you have the Disney walkouts. Good, because they'll regret looking and then we'll all enjoy her reaction. Okay. Cool. I'll 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 look and then be horrified. In a moment. Every squad got the terrorist, 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 terrorist. Holy shit, I think I actually joined a terrorist group. Nice meme. Ooh, okay, spider fact. We'll have to get to that in a moment. I'm just gonna look at all of the links that you posted. Speaking of characters who fuck, oh, that's a good lead off to this link. I'm real excited to see what, what character I'm looking at. Oh no! No! Get that shit out of my face! Oh my god, I just noticed Coco's portrait is kind of funny looking. This has been squashed, yeah. Okay, um, spider fact. What kind of spider fact can I tell you? Uh, did you know that spiders, at least wolf spiders, are apex predators within, um, like, insects? Um, they tend to be at the top of the food chain in their size category, if I should say. Um, they pretty much eat anything um, smaller than them, and including other members of their own species. Yay, sexual cannibalism. Um, additionally, because of the fact that they're apex predators, there have actually been studies um, um, involving biomagnification in, um, in, in, in insects. So, biomagnification, if you don't know, uh, is basically the process by which so like it's basically studied in mercury so in a in a wet environment you'll have um you know mercury poisoning in water and then you'll have these um fish who will eat the mer like this krill who will absorb the mercury and then fish that will then eat the mercury or eat the fish eat the krill that are laden with mercury and then those fish will eat bi those bigger fish will eat up will beat smaller fish that also have mercury, and that bigger fish will have even more mercury in them due to the fact that they're eating so much percentage of fish that have them. So basically the idea is that the bigger the fish in an, in an environment, the larger quantity of mercury is in their system. Um, and this was only thought to be a, uh, something that would happen in marine environments there was a study that had shown that near uh, like a mercury processing plant there had actually been some kingfisher fish fisher birds excuse me that were uh, found with mercury in their system like a lot of it and that seemed kind of weird to people because the kingfisher even with their even though they had their names kingfisher they actually well that species of bird did not eat any kind of fish like they didn't like fish fish might have been in their diet but not like a primary amount of it like the amount of fish they were having does not did not account for how much mercury was in their system. And it turned out that um, the reason why they had so much mercury in their system was due to the spiders that they ate. And that because spiders are sort of apex predators who not only eat multiple insects but also maybe even other spider species, um, the amount of mercury that a spider could accumulate is about the same as you would expect in a marine environment. So that was how it was able to replicate. So I guess that was like two spider facts, multiple spider facts. A spider story! <laughs> anyway, uh, that gave me something to talk about while I was on stream. Um, and I'm sure Hansen's robot might have understood, might have enjoyed that. I don't know how, I, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that like, what I was talking about was accessible to people who are not in the sciences, or do not know much about the sciences. But basically, um, Oh my gosh. I'll try and answer questions, possibly, if I, um, uh, once I'm finished with this. And win first place, goddammit! We hope. We might not, though. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of other things to talk about. Uh, don't know. I don't know. Ooh! Oh, wow! That was an excellent- 
excellent shot there, damn. Like, I just, I just was like, fuck you, Crash. If only I, uh... Oh, no! Man, that was worse than last time. Damn it. Not great. Oh. Um. Oh my god. Uh. And then we got. Press. We got some more links. God damn it. Stop with the tingles. <laughs> Ooh, bad magnification. That's very cool. You know a lot about that. I do know a lot about that. Um. I studied for a year in a, in a spider lab. So that's why I know so much. About spiders. Mostly just the spiders I worked with. Not all spiders, because there are so many and it's so varied. I did a research project on mercury levels and local fish populations. Unfortunately, I joined on after the fun collection of samples and just organized the data for a poster. Oh, I'm sorry. Data collection is part of the fun. Oh my gosh, Jeff, have you seen the Speed Racer the movie? I I know of it. I have not seen it myself, though. Uh, mostly just because I'm not a big Speed Racer fan in general. Uh, no reason, I just have never gotten into it or seen it or anything. I'm like, I am, my, my thoughts about Speed Racer begin and end with, I guess it exists. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, I know it was made by the Wachowskis, but aside from that, I, I don't know much about it. I know it wasn't well received, um, and it's kind of one of the, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's any movies that the Wachowskis have made outside of the Matrix that have been, like, seriously acclaimed as good movies. Most of the movies that they've made have been, like, very mixed reviews at best. Like, I think the other ones they made were what? There was Cloud Atlas they made, that one Jupiter Ascending movie with Mila Kunis, I think. Um... Um, so I, I don't, I don't really know. I have, I've not, I have not, like, I have not watched any of the Wachowski's other films, I don't think, except for, like, the Matrix movies. So I can't speak to them personally as to whether or not they're, they have any better stuff going on. Whoa! I jumped on his head. Okay. Um, I also have yet to see the newest Matrix movie. Um, the one that recently came out. I have not seen that. Mostly because I just haven't seen a lot of movies since the pandemic started. Um, but like, you know, I, I know that that movie probably exists to give the hugest middle finger to all the transphobes. So, you know, in that respect, I, I definitely approve. And even if it's a crappy movie, it's a movie that should exist for, at least for that reason, um, if nothing else, so, anyway, but yeah, I'm not, in short, I'm not seeing Speed Racer. If anyone has any, like, recommendations on a good Wachowski film that's, that's, like, not the Matrix series that was good, uh, let me know. I would like to, I would love to, to... like, like, I wonder, like, I don't, I, I feel like to some extent the Wachowski's filmography is kind of like M. Night Shyamalan's, where, like, everyone's just like, yeah, they had that one good movie, but then all the other movies they've ever made were kind of eh, to not great. I guess at least people liked Signs. I've never seen that one, though. Although that one stars Mel Gibson, so, like, you know, who wants to see Signs nowadays? <laughs> I have not seen... 
any of the only no the only M Night Shyamalan film I've seen is The Last Airbender, which like uh, you know I'm sure that I don't know if that's a blip or a standard, but, but uh, that movie was garbage. Just so you know, if people tell me that M Night Shyamalan's not the best filmmaker, I I believe him because <laughs> uh, man was that not a good movie. Uh, I know he's done better recently, I think? Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't keep- I don't keep track. Most of his movies are horror films, and I'm not really a horror movie person. Um, so... Although, I feel like The Sixth Sense might be more at my- more my speed in terms of horror, so... I might check it out someday, who knows. I'm not a cinephile though, so I, I, I'm not. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen by a lot of different people. Just like, oh, 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 oh. No, 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 crash, no! He outsped me, damn it. So close to winning. God damn it. I need you to watch a movie so good. Oh. Oh, the retracting movie is really fun. It got panned, but a rewatch shows it's good. I didn't like Cloud Atlas. It's okay. Film is my expertise of Sunny. I see. Yeah, I've heard I've heard mixed things about about um, Speed Racer. I mean, if anyone was to, if any major Hollywood people were to adapt Speed Racer, I guess the Wachowskis make sense because I know they they're they definitely have their pulse on the anime, so that definitely feels like their speed. But I've just never seen it. No suggestion. Speed racer. Haha. <laughs> I forgot how frustrating it is that you can't see my comments in real time. It's fine. I feel like the last Shyamalan Bender is a great example of just how having a good or even just decent casting is so important. That's true. I don't think there's like... I, that's fair. Like, it's not just Shyamalan. Like, the acting in that movie is just terrible. Like, I, I don't think there's a... Okay. The only good actor in that movie is the guy who plays Zuko. Dev Patel, yeah, but Dev Patel, he's dec he's pretty- he was pretty good. Like, he actually, like, had emotions and, like, did the best that was given to him. And I think Uncle Iroh was pretty decent. But aside from that, everybody was just kind of very lame. I'm still- I'm still so- I laugh so hard at, like, the freaking. The, the, the freaking, uh, uh, and, uh, Ozai, the guy that got to play Ozai, he just looks like some guy, which is hilarious, like, oh my god, anyway, I could rent to a movie all day, back, and they love John Woo, yeah, it's just like, hmm, these main characters I have, I have to have to hold up the whole movie, better cast kids with actually no acting experience, yeah, right? Especially since the whole thing is, like, child actors, you know what I mean? The kid who played Aang literally was not an actor before the- Wow! But he's like the- that- it shows! It really shows though! He was so garbage. And like, I don't have any shame saying that because like, again, Dev Patel was doing a good job and I don't remember how old he was when he was playing Zuko. Certainly older than Aang was. And I'm pretty sure probably older than Zuko's actual age of like 15 or whatever. Like, like I wouldn't be surprised if like- Dev Patel was like in his 20s when he was doing that, but like, well, still, like, he, you know, also, yeah, but like, all of the child actors, aside from Dev Patel, were just, like, real shit, real garbage directing. <laughs> it was so, oh, and the worst part of the movie, too, is the tone was, like, so weird. It was very much trying to be, like, it took itself way too seriously, and I was like, bitch, like, Avatar did take itself seriously to some extent, but it also, like, knew what it was, like, it had a better cohesive whole, you know? Goddamn. It was, it, it that movie was the worst. I, 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 I watched it. I was like, I've heard stories. I, I have to see how bad it is. I remember, I remember seeing it, I remember when the trailers came out for that, and it, like, all my friends were like, oh my god, I can't believe, like, I'm so excited, and then they went to see it, and it was like, what? <laughs> like, everybody was so, like, like, it was like the worst movie they had ever seen in theaters, and I was like, like, yikes. Like, 
can imagine. <laughs> I, um... I have never... Um... I'm ha- so far behind god damn not cool oh, oh even though it was a straight shot I still missed that's not great Scare me! Oh god. Oh, I got the shortcut, you guys! Hell yeah! I just needed that extra boost, is what I needed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please be, please be first, please be first, please be. No, engine was so far ahead. I thought it was just crash I had to beat. Damn. It. Uh, arguably, it's not the worst time during the movie either. Zing. <laughs> That's true. Very yeah, that ruined your day, huh? No, it's okay. I wish Dump gets a game, gets wrecked by game footage. I did get wrecked by game, fo game footage right there. But I still came out in second place despite the glitch, which, thank god. Yeah, I did! Got hit by a violent and TNT at the same time he knocked off the ass into the world? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, but thankfully, we didn't glitch the game out. So, that's good. Alright. Alright. Why is there no music? That's kind of weird. I guess the starting music didn't play, which, alright. Oh, come on. I think, the, I think after this we're gonna be, the next track is gonna be, oh, it's gonna be the spaceship one. That one's fun. It's actually a pretty good one. It's like, the most complex one, which makes sense because it's the hardest race. Oh, trying to beat nitrous oxide though. That's gonna be rough. Oh shit, shit, shit! No! Damn it! Oh, I ran into my own trap there. <laughs> Good for me. 
good for me. I used to think that when Tiny says, here comes Tiny, that he was saying, here comes Barney. And I was always so confused. I'm like, your name's not Barney, sir. Your name's Tiny. Well, I guess maybe his name could be Tiny. Could be Barney. Maybe that was his name before Cortex created him. Who knows? Alright. Oh, okay, cool. We're in first. It's rare for me to be in first this early, so especially on a. Ooh, -hoo, I almost got. Dang, I almost got hit there. Wow, barely missed it. Um. Oh. In fact, I didn't take the shortcut. Kind of cost me the lead there. That's not great. Come on, come on, come on. Got this. Got this. Oh! I blew up, but it's fine. Nice. Did it. Um, fucking sniped. Yeah, I totally sniped Tiny there. Ah, uh, of course. Tiny's just a nickname. His real name is Barney. Exactly. GG, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, good. I was so afraid that they would like conk out on me again and then I would have to do it all over again, but thankfully, we're all good. We're gonna save after this though, because man, I live, I'm living on a prayer every time I load a new level. This game. You win a trophy. Nice. All right, now it's just the space station. Let's save first. Oh my god. We're gonna we're gonna get there eventually. Every loading series to tear now, yay, basically. Because I've had so many issues already with, with the loading screen just forever loading that uh every time it loads I, I load fear. <laughs> So please, we, we got there eventually. All right, cool, saved. So now, time to go to space. Uh, but before we go to space, um, we are going to take a midstream break because um, yeah, it's close to when it will be happening anyway and I don't wanna Yeah, we'll take it now and then we'll start get started on this this one. So uh, then so I will see you all in a moment. Um once after my break.
Okay, I have returned. Um, sorry if that took a while. Um, but let's get started with the oxide station. Welcome back. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm just eating a little bit before we start. Oh, wrong remote. That's my, uh, I was wondering why nothing was happening and it was, I was using my, um, I was using the switch remote. Eat your nuggies! Hey, hi Storm, how you doing? Welcome on in. Yeah, he does black. I am. I'm not eating nuggies, but I am eating a, um, a little bar right now. How you how you doing, Storm? Welcome on in. So these are all things we've done. We have not done any of the side stuff yet. Eat your nuggies. Everyone wants me to eat some nuggies. If only I had nuggies, then I would. Nuggies. I have heard they exist. A little stressed. Oh, did you raid me, Storm? Oh my goodness, I didn't notice that. Thank you for the raid storm. Uh, I guess it just happened right now. I didn't even notice. I'm really good at this. But thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Thank you for, for coming on in. Oh, game has some issues. I'm so sorry. I This game also has been giving me issues historically. I've had a couple stream Like, for the past two stream times I've streamed it, I have had the game like basically load endlessly on me so i've been having to save after every single time i do a race just to make sure that i don't like have to do things all over again i already eaten the stuff and all christmas movies up they go so fast they're expensive mm. i'm sorry stress storm well now you can watch me play a game and not be stressed Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Storm. It can be really upsetting when games have that kind of uh, hardware issue. Like, it's upsetting to me that this game has that kind of issue, too. Um, and I can't tell if it's, like, a disc issue or it's an issue with my PS1. I have no idea. So. It's, it sucks. Um... Okay. So, let's see. I was just, you know, um, clicking through all these to show off what I've done. Alright, let's resume. And do some stuff in here. Old games, especially though, stuff loading your fuck. Yeah. That's the thing that scares me about about this game. It's like whenever I don't hear the PS2, a PS1's disc like shift a bit on occasion, and I get really scared. Also, today's crunch is brought to you by popcorn. So welcome to the spaceship, guys. Uh, just as a sign, of course, I can't actually read chat while I am racing. For those of you who read it in, I gotta read it once I've done. But I like to ask chat some questions while I while I race so that I can have some fun things to read when I come back. So I'm gonna say that today's question or this race's question is gonna be, um, 
If you were to, um... If you were to change... Like, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. If you were to make, like, take any IP of your choice and set it in space as, like, an AU, which one would you choose? And it can't be, like, a, an AU that already is set in space or or that's already been done before. Like, you know, don't, don't say, like, Star Trek. Because, like, that, that's already partially set in, mostly sp set in space. So... And it can be- it can be for any reason. It could be because you think that would make an interesting alternate story. Um, or maybe you think it's funny. That's also possible. This particular track is just very amazing. I got stuck on a wall now! Almost didn't make that. Oh. Oh, dang. There's a lot more uh, Wumpa fruit carts in this stage. Probably more important if I had to guess. Imagine coming to Earth and <coughs> and constructing your own like racetrack for people to race on. The narcissism. Maybe not narcissism, like. This guy really likes racing, but damn, he, he builds his whole station to like, I need to get better at gliding right now. So my ripping controller way too hard. Man, I'm gonna be surprised if I get first place on my first run through this level. This is like supposedly the hardest level. <gasps> oh, what? No, I was so close. Ah, oh, disappointment. Ooh, I know. Maybe Zelda would be good in space. Zelda might be interesting in space. Like, instead of a fantasy world of a single land, you like on a spaceship on different planets. Get wrecked, Dove. Yeah, I got wrecked. I got wrecked by um, bad timing, I guess. The original Zelda was at one point going to be sci fi. They planned for the Tri City computer chips at one point. Yeah. I'm running two blue shows in a row in second place and still losing. I know. I know. It's a real tragedy. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Zelda has really lost its sci-fi edge. I mean, especially considering... Breath of the Wild and it's magic tech kind of vibes going on like like Link basically has a computer on his lap <laughs> on on his side like he has a, he has a, he has a tablet you can get a motorcycle in the DLC um just like everything 
It's hilarious. Oh, I need to think of a of a, of a thing to, to to ask you guys in chat. Ah, uh, I don't I don't remember. I don't know. Sorry, I like kind of got quiet because I was like focused on trying to play the game. Uh huh. Ooh, I made a nice shortcut there. What an asshole! Damn, he just he just didn't give a shit. Amazing. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed the X there. Bad idea. This stage is definitely more gliding. We're gonna fighting. Power sliding. Gliding is for Spyro, and that's a totally different game. Although it's kind of hilarious to think that both that a, that a single developer has had its turn at creating both a Spyro and a Crash game. So like So like now now they're under the same roof. You know? Oh man, an actually good Spyro Crash crossover? I'd be into that. Like a good like a good one. Not not a bad one, a good one. I don't know what kind of game I'd want that to be if I want to be like a- cause, like the problem with doing a Crash, um, Spyro crossover is that Spyro is like a, a more, like Crash's, um, level design is more, um, more linear, like, like your classic Mario or Sonic level, whereas, oh my god. Um, where, whereas Spyro is more of a three, a traditional, th like a three D platformer, that has way different mechanics. So I don't know how you did worse that time. Damn. Yeah, Breath of the Wild had it too. They even had the idea to have an alien flying saucer as like the best set piece, a big set piece at some point. Wow. Damn, aliens are here. Your aliens are killing into to the Zelda universe. Imagine. That's crazy. I'm a huge fan of like the PS1 and somehow managed to never play this game. Wow, I'm surprised. This is a good one, Storm. Highly recommend it. It's a really solid, um solid kart racer. Got a good amount of challenge, but like not you know, I don't know, like not obtuse or anything. It's you know, it's a little rough around the edges control-wise, but I think most PS1 games are, so if you're used to that, then that's not really a complaint. Um, it's got solid mechanics. All that stuff. It's really good. I definitely improve. One is linear, the other is original open world. Yeah. Yeah, so it's- it's- Yeah, it's, it's, um, I agree, though, it's, it would be really hard to combine the two of them as a crossover, unless you were to, like, fundamentally change, like, the mechanics of the game. You know, either, you know, either you go for a linear platformer with 
both Crash and Spyro, or you do like an open world kind of platformer with Crash, with Crash and Spyro. I think the open world one's probably the most approachable because like Spyro's whole gimmick is he glides and you can't really do gliding. The gli gliding isn't as easy or as challenging in like an, in a linear setup, I would say. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that's, so I think that, that you would either have to do one or the other, or you'd have to like do a completely different genre of game. Like, I don't know, maybe you would make it more in the line of something like Ratchet and Clank or um, Jack and Daxter and make it kind of that situation. Uh, to be clear, I've only played the original Jack and Jack and Daxter. I have not played. Well, I no, that's the lie. I have played briefly played Jack Two, but only briefly. <laughs> so yeah, you would have to. So I feel like if you wanted to make that work, you would have to. You know, you wouldn't be able to really. Con you wouldn't really be able to have the lit like do both. I guess. I think that would make for a very confusing game. And I'm not, I'm not very fun one either. I am O. God, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> that was actually the perfect place to sneeze because um, I was like in midair, kind of going in one direction, so I didn't have I didn't slam to a wall. Oh my god, my thumb! My thumb is starting to cramp from how hard I've been pressing it and how long I've been pressing in the a the uh, the X button. that Naughty Dog was able to like turn out a kart racer for this series, you know, as our last game for Crash. Woo! Almost hit the ceiling there. Oh, we're in first place, baby! Woo! Okay, it's the last lap too, so that's good! But we gotta... We got a lot of guys on our ass, so we gotta uh, watch out. Demo and Ripto's Rage. I gotcha. Yeah, I forget that they're, they have demos for these games. I wonder if you could bridge the gap between Crash and Spyro doing like Mario Odyssey as we have one big world level at least four sub areas with each level layer challenge. Yeah, maybe. You could try and do something like that. Okay, I just said the thought of Crash riding Spyro like he does the bears. Oh my god! I don't really think Spyro would stand for that, honestly. I think he'd be very insulted if someone rode on his back without his permission. Especially since, like, um, let me put it this way. Crash always asks a little bit flirtatious. Uh, you, you call that racing? Forget about it. If you's gonna face our side, you's gonna have to get past me first. I'm the speed champion here, and I'm gonna save the world. And for a size of me, of course. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Pinstripe is a mob boss, if you can't tell. What if they literally did it like a Avengers Kazooie thing where you control both together? Hmm. Oh, that might be interesting. I want a lot of guys on my ass! 
any of these guys though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'd probably be pissed, I know. He would, he'd be like, how dare. Oh no, no, no. No, I wanted to save, fuck. Please be good to me, disc, I'm praying. Yeah, it's probably be pissed, I know. This is fredophobic. <laughs> <sighs> All right, boss fight time. All right, cool, I got ahead of him. At first, it's good. Oh, I forgot he fucking does this shit. No. Cool. I hate it. Damn it. I'm gonna have to hit that that shortcut more, I think, for this boss fight. Say good night. Oh my god! They're still coming at me. <laughs> Alright, hit him. Hit him. Damn it! At least he's like, oh fuck, this, this area is going to be super narrow, I don't like it. <sighs> projectiles. The fact that they constantly have projectiles, like, vomiting out of them makes it, like, really hard to hit them, like, projectiles of your own because they keep blocking them. You get shit on, pinstripe. Oh, I wasted it. Get off my butt! <gasps> yeah, right. Oh my god, this is not going well. This is not going well for me. You see this? This this asshole. You are mine. This freaking Corleone wannabe. Oh, oh. My. spun out because I <laughs> power slide for too long. <laughs> oh shit. Oh keep sitting the freaking <laughs> kicking bombs and not him. I don't like this at all. Freaking stop. He blocked all of them. He blocked all of them. I cannot. There we go. Got him finally. Took me forever, but we did it. Watch your back. Oh! How was I supposed to avoid that? I guess I just gotta not be directly behind him. But even that's not necessarily the best. Ooh. Especially since like there's so many curves in this stay uh in this track, so like his bombs could come from anywhere. Honestly, this one might be a little bit more doable than uh Papa Papa was. Oh, but only slightly. Papa Papa's was the fucking worst. I hated that guy. Not only is he racist caricature, but he also had those potions that were awful because of the placement. And it was so hard to avoid. And the corners are so tight in some parts of it. Like this isn't easy necessarily, but I don't know. I have more a little more confidence that I won't take it forever. Oh miss! Damn it! I could have caught him on the side too. That might have helped me out. But sadly. Oh my god! No! 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 no. Just, just no. Just big, big old no, please. Uh. Please. Please. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I have my own ball. Oh, I missed him! Just. Rip. 
just just big ol' rip on my part. Alright. Come on. We can get we can we can beat this mob boss wannabe, it's fine. Mastered that corner, which I, I desperately need. Oh! If I'm gonna like beat him. Boom! I saw it. I tried to serve to avoid it, and I, I hit it instead. Great. Hey! <laughs> this round's going real well, you guys. Look how far behind I am. Ah! Not great. Not great. Not great at all. Ugh. Sadness extraordinaire. It's me. That's me. I'm, I'm sadness. Right now, because of this boss fight. Right. He's visible now, I think. Right? Can I see him? Can I see him on my screen? If I can see him on my screen, then I'm going to go for it. I haven't really fall, fallen off much. On the tracks, so that's good. Oh god, okay, good. Okay. Alright. Say good night. Huh. Say good night. No! Oh, I can't be right behind him, otherwise he's gonna fuck me up. Have some of this. Have some of this. Oh. You kinda just shoot them all at once, honestly. Oh, I got him. Oh, he took it off. Oh! No! Like I said, this one feels a little more manageable than some of the other bosses. I just gotta play this well. turn I don't know how to take right oh my god he's still behind me though Dreams. Oh, is that Bill? Is that B B Bill Cosby? What? 
club. Come on, let's get you out of here. Died is some strange art. Glad I'm actually having fun with giving BS and a spiral like back my legs. Yes! Spyro! I like playing Spyro games when I want to play a game where I like I'm confident when I'm doing and I'm not gonna rage quit. It's Bill fucking Cosby. Yeah, why the hell? Like what? What is the purpose of him being in that photo? Are they saying that like is Bill Cosby like the warden of the jail or something? I don't know. Is it just a reference to the fact that Bill Cosby was in jail for a brief amount of time? Like I I don't know what's up with that photo. It's, it's kind of weird, to be honest. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, bit. No! Yeah, Thank right. God for invisibility frames, otherwise, I would have had to do two of those. And that would have been. <laughs> Oh, got him, got him, got him. Immediate booty pat. Mm. Oh! Damn. This guy's so hard. <laughs> Say good night. Like, I still don't know how, how else you're supposed to, like, get over. Ow. Ha! I got you with your own medicine, bitch! How do you like the taste of it? I bet it's nice and bitter and full of gunpowder. Like what I've had to deal with for the past, I don't know, many minutes? I've lost count? Ugh. Oh, it's a waste. It's a nice waste. Good. I saw that. Oh, it was too late for me to correct my course. Oh, I hate. The worst part about this is that I know I I know I can beat him. I've gotten so close, but just no cigar. You know. Oh, good, good, good. I'm beating him without having any lump fruit, so you know. Watch your back. Oh, why are you so fast? That's some of this. <laughs> Watch your back. Some of these bowling balls have very questionable places, and I just. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, bitches. Come on. I can't slide too long here, otherwise I'm freaking... Here you go. Oh! Yes! Ha! Eat my dust. Ugh. Watch your back. So I guess Storm, if you if you want, like I I'm I'm raging right now, but honestly, I'm still having a good time. Like he's tough, but he's very doable. Um, in terms of difficulty, like, I don't think he is too unfair. Um, how far back is he? Probably not that. Yep, never mind! <laughs> oh, damn it, my shield. Get fucked. Um, yeah, so the, the difficulty is, like, pretty manageable. It's not too bad. I mean, granted, I've been playing this game for a really long time, so, like, maybe I'm, you know, I find it easier than it might be for other people. But, oh god, god, I have such a lead on him! Come on! Yes! He has been dethroned from the Mafia. Ha! I just wish this was to the Cosby Suite. Oh, yeah, maybe. Bomb bowling, bomb bowling, bomb bowling. Good job, thank you! Oh my god. 
Again, not the hardest boss. Honestly. Um, once you know that, like, once you know how to deal with, like, the track itself, it's pretty easy. Ish. I mean, I lost a couple times, but, like, compared to the other bosses, I feel like he's more manageable. Alright. And he just has a Tommy gun, you know. As you do. He just drives with his gun as well. So, you beat me fair and square. I doubt you'll be as lucky with Oxide. Here's a key for your troubles. Oh, brother. Alright. The little Terra Vermin has finally collected all the trophies to become world champion. What took me so long? Now we prove who the fastest driver really is. Alright. So now it's the final boss. I'm gonna stretch my limbs a little bit. I don't remember how hard this guy is. I remember him being pretty challenging. Ah, yes. Yes. We should absolutely. Absolutely save. I agree. Good night, everyone. Good night, Quirdo. Thank you, thank you for coming by as always. I really appreciate your existence here at, uh, at this stream channel. And you're a wonderful mod on top of that. All right. I heck and love I heck and love Queerdo too. Alright. Let's go. And the problem about Oxide is that he's a fucking cheater. Look look at that. He gets a freaking head start. Like the asshole he is. And he throws nonsense at us. Ow. And he has the best voice. Ugh. He's like a worse, like, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, you know what I mean? He's Dr. Doofenshmirtz without the charm. <laughs> have to, like, I want to drive well, but I also need to avoid all the obstacles. Which makes it even harder to, like, you know, do well. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Oh, god. These shits are still on the... Ugh. Oh, boy. 
Oh. Uh, no! Yeah, I asked myself the same question, Coco. Why is this indeed happening to me? How can this happen to me? What? I made my mistakes. God, he's so far ahead of me. Yeah, so nitrous oxide is gonna take a while to beat. He's very, uh... Stop. Jeez. He's throwing out three of them or whatever the fuck? Jesus. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know what he's what he's insulting me for, but like, I don't know. All I hear is just a huge nerd, you know? Like me, but like. You know, in, I, I mean it in a derogatory way. Nerd and derogatory. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We're catching up a bit. This, also, this race is fucking long, too. So. Ugh. Him fast boy. He is. He's literally flying. He is. He's just not fair. He's just not fair at all. Also, he's very large. It's always one minute mistakes that snowball and snowball mistakes. Yeah. Very true, Storm. And he's a fucking cheater too, starting on the. on the wrong one. Like, damn. Damn, sir. Who do you think you are? Hmm? Oh my god, oh my god, stop. I'm trying to also, like, not take the most... Ah, oh! The most predictable path through here, but, like, the predictable path is the fast one, so... It makes it even harder. Like... Trying to avoid all this shit? Like, come on. I mean, at least there are some parts that... Like, are wider than- How did I miss all of those? I somehow missed. All of those- Those, uh... But this part here tends to be kind of... Obstacle-free, so... It makes it a little easier, but not always. Oh, I knew it was gonna crash into that. Oh! No! Oh! Oh! Trying to save the I'm saving these uh missiles for when I get a little closer to him. For now, I'm just trying to focus on, you know, driving well, <laughs> avoiding obstacles. Then once I'm in a clear shot, I have a good shot, I'll go for him. 
Nope, 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 nope! Boy. Damn it! No. I might not get missiles now. It's alright though. Okay, um, I can take a speed up. What? What the fuck was that? How did I not get enough air time? B. S. Like, I swear to God, he's like, discount Dr. David Schmerz. His voice. I mean, granted, like, this came out before Phineas and Ferb, but I will still think of him that way. Like, he's got the, like, weird high-pitched voice. He kind of strikes me as a huge nerd, like Dr. Jupiter Schmerz. You know, it, it checks out. Although, I guess Dr. Jupiter Schmerz is... Like... I do appreciate how Dr. Jupiter Schmerz does seem to be kind of... Not that put together, but like... His struggles are very relatable, so... I think that makes up for a lot. Alright. Oh! Motherfucker, right there. Yeah, I don't think Oxide is particularly fat. I mean, he might be, he might be pretty fast. But like, I think the the amount of obstacles he like shucks out makes this even harder. So, it just it's the worst. Woo! Save those! Damn it! Oh, I saw those there and I couldn't avoid them. Oh, and it's sometimes hard to make out the, the obstacles because they kind of blend in to the track color. I've heard they put Spyro in the remake. Um, in the in the insane trilogy. I don't. Well, they made a reference to him, I think, but I don't know if he's in the game necessarily. Wait, how? What? How? Dungeon Studio. I just feel him so hard. Hard. I don't know. I guess their voices maybe aren't that similar. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. This is hard. Hard level. Ugh. I'm sorry to everybody to have to watch me do this over and over again. I mean, technically, once we beat this, we've beaten like the main story, and then the rest of it's just uh, like the the time trials and the gem cups and the CTR tokens. Um, which we don't have to do, I don't think. But you can do them. Oh! Oh, and then the, like, um, the battle arenas thingies. Where you, uh, man, the battle arenas in this game? Also really cool. They're a lot of fun with friends. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anybody. If, if Soundjack was on stream, I definitely would be like, hey, let's do a battle arena in this game. That would be fun, but uh, sadly he's not here, so I have to be by my lonesome trying to catch up to this weird green alien guy, who definitely seems like the largest prick in the galaxy. Oh, please hit him! Didn't happen. If I'm like close to him, I can avoid his. Projectiles a little better. Cool. Oh, cool. I guess I can also use missiles to like clear some of the projectiles from my way. That's another way to do this. Oh! Surprise! 
Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what just happened there. No, I'm getting, I'm getting hammered by these. Try again! Jumped over that obstacle, yo! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! I'm right on him! I'm right on him! I'll avoid these TNT shits! Come on, give me a missile! Yes! They didn't hit him? What the fuck? I was so close! I was so fucking close! Why didn't they hit? No! I missed that. Speed. I kind of want to slow him down. Oh my god. Whoa. Fuck. Oh, I have my own. Oh. Come on. Stop. Nope. I'm losing my. I'm losing what I was. I can't see. Track. Damn it. I keep getting so close to winning, but then I don't do it. <laughs> Very upsetting. I'm sorry, Dove. It's okay. He's just- he's the final boss, so he's gonna be difficult, like... This isn't- this isn't, like, easy town. Purposefully so. So. I appreciate the concern, but. Yeah, I think. I I know I can beat him. It's just gonna take a bit. That's so Actually, you know, shield might not be a bad idea. Although I probably should have launched it sooner, but. It's I also don't know if this game has adjustable difficulty, so it's possible that, like, they'll make it easier for me as time goes on. Oh! Gave me a blue shell, thank god. are better to, are easier to deal with because they just wipe you out I mean not that that's like fun but you know Whee! you know 
know, it's at least, it's at least, like, not... Oh, 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 fuck. I slowed him down, but I did not catch up. I should probably use the missiles to clear some of this stuff from from yeah. this part. Uh, if I can do use it for that reason. barely slowed him down, but I'm- Oh! Unfair! That was not a fair placement of a ball- of a ball at all. talking about Elden Rings. But this boss fight is the real trouble zone Dark Souls game that we all need to be concerned about. This is where the real difficulty is, you know? This weird alien in this like oh, probably 25 year old game. No, younger than that. 20, 20 something. <laughs> this guy's tough! Scratching racing the Dark Souls of car racers? Yeah, basically. Sorry, I'm taking a little bit of a break right now because, oh boy. This is quite the challenge. Definitely 20 plus years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I was like, I don't think it's, I don't think we're, I don't think we're that old yet, but, yeah. Man, I think this game came out, like, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s, probably? Crash games are pretty hard. They are! User a break. Uh, would anyone mind if I just, like, took a break from this game in general and then came back to it another day? Because I... I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I could keep throwing myself at it, um, but I did, I mean, this is two bosses in a row, so, and my, my hands are, <laughs> to be honest, I prefer it, yeah, I mean, it, this, the, the problem with streaming this game is that, like, it's really hard for me to, like, engage with chat during it, because, uh, I have to focus on what I'm doing for a long stretch of time, and I can't, like, pause the game or, like, take a moment to look at chat while I'm kart racing, so. One of the problems with playing it. As much as this game is really cool, and I love it. Alright. Well, I will exit to map, then. Uh, 
Let's go and save before I forget. I don't think I. Well, we, we not. Bleh, we might not need to save. To be honest. Yes, yeah, literally the same percentage. Okay, so. So with that out of the way, I don't know what to do for the rest of the stream. What do we want to do? Any thoughts? Does chat have any suggestions? I'm, I will say I am pleasantly surprised at how little problems we've been having with the game today. Because the past, like I said, the past two streams we had constant issues. <laughs> This disc not loading. Blow up a canyon when in Minecraft. Uh, I guess I could bring out Minecraft for a little bit. Um, I don't have TNT in my Minecraft game because I'm not on creative, but. What else? While we're here, I can like. My, my dad has the high score on, on all these. On some of these. I don't think I'm on here at all. P-Stripe. What an unfortunate shortening. In Cortex Engine. Entropy. Yeah, imagine your name being P Stripe. Rough. <laughs> your dad is on there, I'm gonna cry. Oh no, don't cry! Yeah, this is my old. This is, um. Still using the save information from. Um. You know, back on. But these are my old, these are, these are the old, um, memory cards that I used to have growing up, so. Yeah, my dad has save information on here. Cause he would play with me a lot. So. Yep. That's why, that's why daddy is the, the best on this. It's cool, uh, camera of the track. Anyway, I was just kind of pa paging through this just to like see what if you guys had any thoughts on what to do. I could always do my old standard of reading some fanfic on, on stream. That would be a fun time. I could play another game maybe? Possibly. I mean, we only have 20 minutes, so. My dad and I used to play PS1 back in the day. Yeah, same with my dad and me. We play a lot. Actually, the 117% uh, uh, save file I have on Spire 3 is one that I did with my dad. I'm up for whatever. Cool. Okay. Well, let me turn the PS1 off for now. Uh, the PS1 was my dad. Oh! I mean, I'm sorry that your dad had to be the PS1. But I'm, I'm also happy that you at least had a PS1 to be your dad, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, let's go on the computer. And I'm gonna... Uh, take off. And then we're gonna go to... Display. No, we're gonna go to PC. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. All right, so let's. Turn off the TV. Okay. Hmm. 
Not gonna lie, even though there was not a lot to like, I do miss my dad. The ways, the complicated, um, relationships that we have with our parents, you know, I don't think anybody should have, should tell you how you want to relate to the people in your life like that, you know? Actually, you know what we're gonna do? And I think, I think when things are like complex like that, it can be a lot. Uh, so I wanted to... Sorry, I'm thinking. Um. Gonna do some fanfic live reads, cause why not? Let me change the topic. Reading aloud. Okay. So what... What do we have as stuff for this. So we've got Magnus Chase and the Gods of As Asgard. Like A-S-S. Heh. -S. <sighs> oh, excuse me. No. We got Genshin Impact, Riverdale, The Owl House, Sander Sides, the web series, BTS, Common Rider, Re Zero, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Game of Thrones, Once Upon a Time, Attack on Titan, Harry Potter, Merlin, Harry Potter, Encanto, Tangled, Fumble's Taken, Cartoon, Brave, How to Your Dragon, and Rise of the Guardians, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Doctor Strange, Star Wars Trickle Trilogy, Spectre Moors, The Vampire Diaries, okay. The gods of ass. <laughs> yup. So I've never so so the the properties I am familiar with are the Owl House. Um Hold on. Technically Harry Potter, but I don't really want to read Harry Potter fanfic. Um Tangled uh in the Town of Train Dragon movies and uh, brave, however, I have not seen Encanto, so I don't want to watch that or read that. Excuse me. Um, I'm familiar with Doctor Strange and also somewhat the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I am uh, familiar with the sequel trilogy for Star Wars, and that's it. Unless there's a fandom that you guys see here that you want me to read, despite my knowledge, like my my less not knowledge of it. Um, I'd say I'll, I'll be willing to read something that I don't know anything about as long as it's not a property that I care about spoilers for. So, 
What are the... Let's, let me actually read the descriptions on some of the stuff I see here. Let's see, Owl House. Oh, um, actually I should probably be careful about the Owl House ones because I think the Owl House is premiering on Disney Channel right now, so I want to stay away from it to avoid spoilers because I'm sure these, the newer ones are, like, have a fast turnaround and stuff. Common Red, da, 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 so never mind. Um, I guess I'm technically familiar with Once Upon a Time. Oh, oh Looking for a Fic by Gobbledygoop. I'm looking for an old Swan Queen fic. Can anyone help me find it? Stories described inside. Well, I don't think I'll be able to really do much about that.